Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this jackfruit in very simple and tasty way. I am sharing the secret tips for making this also. So please watch the video till end. And if this video will helpful, then please uh, hit the like button also. And please, if you have, if you have any query, then you can comment in the comment box. Please, 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 guys, do my channel subscribe and see the description below for I'm more making information. This jackfruit. I have cut down the jackfruit into small size. The size of the jackfruit should be like this. You don't need to cut down into large size because it is difficult to cook. And the uh, curry will not get mixed into it. Now I will fry it. You need to fry it till it becomes golden brown. You fry the pieces. I have fried this all the jackfruit now you can see the golden brown color of it and now for the gravy you need to take the following ingredients firstly I have taken some onions I have taken three small size onion some pieces of garlic some cloves of ginger and some green chilies and two tomatoes small size so firstly I will make the paste in this so firstly I am making the paste of onions together with the garlic and the ginger I will make tomato puree at the last firstly I will make the paste of these ingredients and now now this paste get prepared now I will prepare the paste in the same jar. I will prepare the paste of uh, tomatoes also. Now this paste is ready. Now I will add some tomatoes into it. And now again make the tomato puree and the tomato puree also gets ready as for um, making the curry of this jackfruit i have taken this onion and garlic and ginger paste and when this oil get heated now i will add this paste into it firstly switch on the gas and put some oil into it i'm using the same oil that i've used for frying the jackfruit so guys first of all i'm adding some cumin seeds into it just few cumin seeds i'm adding and now i'm adding the paste of ginger garlic into it then this paste absorb the water oil now I am adding the tomato puree into it cook it until the oil gets separate from it when the oil gets separate from it now I need to add the spices into it firstly I am adding half tablespoon of turmeric powder more than half tablespoon of cumin powder and half tablespoon of coriander powder and salt according to taste I'm adding and at the last I need to add some red chilies into it so I'm adding one by four tablespoon of red chili and now mix it well you need to just sprinkle some water so that all the spices get mixed into it after cooking it for 2 minutes I will add this 
jack fruit into it. Now I'm adding this jack fruit, that is fried jack fruit into it. It contains a lot of oil because it is deep fried. Uh, while making the curry, please add less water. Now mix it well so that the masala will get mixed. Now you need to cook it on lower flame for 10 minutes so that all the masala get mixed into it. Now after cooking it for 10 minutes, it get cooked. Now I am adding some fresh coriander leaves and uh, you can sprinkle some salt over it. And I am adding just 1 tablespoon of tomato ketchup. It will enhance its taste and flavor. Now mix it well. You can serve it with four chapatis or naan as you want so guys if you like this recipe please click my channel subscribe and like my video if you like it guys you can follow me on twitter also you can like my facebook page also guys you can watch my videos on facebook by pressing the watch video button on facebook so please 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 get my channel subscribe you can see my other videos also thanks for watching this and at the last i will show you how it will look in this bowl you can see that it is easy to serve in this bowl because the pieces are low. Then if you like this recipe, please, please, please get my channel subscribed. Thanks for watching it.